I bet you never leave here, buddy. <laughs> Been doing it a long time. All right. Hey, I'm up and I'm up and live. Well, good morning, everybody. Give a chance for everybody to kind of see that I'm here. Give me a thumbs up so as you roll in. Let me know who's here. We have a special presentation for uh, live stream today. Answered a question at uh, Miss Worm. Yeah, so I went and did my due diligence. And I'll probably cover it a few times during it. Miss Worm, there we go. Hey, I actually got the reminder today. That's because I didn't start it as soon as I got in. So what I was doing as soon as I got in the gym, I just went ahead and started the live stream. And I, th I think that's what was causing the problem. Is uh, because I started immediately, didn't send any reminders out. So hopefully, it, this time it sent a reminder. Well, I've got notes, lots of notes, more notes. It's like I was back in school. And the importance of B vitamins. What are they? What do they do? And all that good stuff. So I'm going to give it a few minutes for <clears throat> other people to get into the stream here. And then I will cover it more in one time. You can hardly see me, yeah. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I was figuring I was going to get a few of those jokes. I think that works out pretty well. JJB, always good morning. Here we go. Don't forget to hit those thumbs up, y'all. Then it'll get spread out, and the word will get spread. <clears throat> so today is on B vitamins, and I will I will start, and then probably just repeat myself a few times. So Miss Warren asked, "Are you hearing me? Okay? I'm trying not to talk too loud because I am in the gym. I don't want to." Don't want to freak too many people out. Because that's weird enough when they walk by and they're going, What that guy talking to that computer for? Sounds good. Awesome. Coming in fine. Good. So, B vitamins. <clears throat> so, B vitamins can, the B vitamin complex composes of eight B vitamins. And they are B1, B2, B3, B5. B6, B7, B9, and B12. Uh, they all have another name for them. So if you are looking at your vitamins, you might see uh, B1 as thiamine, uh, B2 as riboflavin, uh, B3 as niacin, B5 as pantothenic acid, B6 as pyridoxine, B7 is biotin, B9 is folate, B12 is just B12. So, what are they good for? What do the B vitamins provide for you? No, they provide you uh, production of red, healthy red blood cells. It's very important carrying oxygen to the body. Uh, energy production, so they help with the cellular uh, production of energy, which is going to provide you energy. It's going to make you feel more energetic. Brain development may not be so much for us now, but uh, for uh, infants and uh, young children, it's very important. Also has a lot to do with your immune functions and with healthy cell function. So basically, it's something that you do want to have with you. And, uh, and, and and keep that going. So where, where do you get B vitamins from? All right, so they're in animal meats. Uh, and I'll go into further into my notes on that. But uh, so the animal meats will, will contain a lot of the B vitamins. Uh, chicken, fish, beef, eggs, uh, citrus fruits contain them, whole grains and leafy greens such as spinach and beans and peas uh, are high in B vitamins. All right. 
Uh, B vitamins also, besides their red blood cell production, also do with the DNA synthesis. So when a spell, cell divides itself, <coughs> it makes a copy of it. It makes sure that the copy is exactly the correct uh, brain function, nerve cell function. Uh, can help pre prevent what's called the Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome, which a lot of times is also tied in with alcohol abuse. Uh, so B1, B1, we'll go down all the ones with the advantages of B1. B1 helps with that syndrome. Uh, it also helps against diabetes, heart failure, and Alzheimer's. B2 prevent, can prevent migraines and has been known to help prevent cancer. B3, which is your niacin, which I take a lot of, is good for your cholesterol and helps prevent cardiovascular disease. Uh, B5 promotes uh, your fatty acid synthesis, which is very important for, for your overall health. B6 is going to boost your protein metabolism improve cognitive function. Good morning, Ms. Pre Little Miss Proper. Thanks for joining in. We're talking about B vitamins and the importance of them, and I will go over them a few times. Uh, so B6, protein metabolism, cognitive function. Uh, it, ease, uh, it helps ease nausea during pregnancy. Not something I have to worry about. And also can prevent cardiovascular disease and also is known to help prevent cancer. B7 is for gene regulation, that's your DNA sensitizing, cell signaling, all right, uh, promotes hair, nail, and skin health. Doesn't keep you from going bald, but it promotes uh, skin and nail health. B9 helps against depression. So B9 is one of those ones that make you feel happy. Uh, also helps to prevent cancer. It helps prevent uh, cognitive decline and congenial anomalies. Not quite sure what that means, but anomalies tells me I don't want it. <clears throat> then B12 is your healthy red blood cells, uh, central nervous system, and also your DNA uh, synthesis. So these things are all very important. No, it can be taken at the same time. So here's what I did is they, I looked at the recommended amount of each B vitamin you're supposed to have. And then I wrote down what my B complex vitamin has and also what my multivitamin has. So with B1, your thiamine, because sometimes on your bottle it'll be thiamine, it won't be called B1. Uh, your recommended amount is 1.2 milligrams. Uh, there, there is no maximum, so they don't have any. You can take more. If your body doesn't need it, it'll just pass it on through. So my B vitamin uh, has 100 milligrams of that. <clears throat> uh, on my uh, multivitamin, it didn't have any of it, or I missed it. I'll have to take another look at it. On your B2, your, your riboflavin, 1.3 milligrams. So we're not talking very large amounts. It is the recommended amount. Uh, my B complex has 20 milligrams. My multivitamin has 1.7. Uh, there is no upper limit. You know, if your body can't use it, it'll just pass it on to it. Now on the niacin, the niacin recommended amount is 16 milligrams. My B complex has 25. They say you shouldn't take any more than 35 milligrams during the day. Oh, my multivitamin has 20, which I take in the morning. I usually take the B vitamin later on. So that's something I'm going to have to think about. You know, do I take that B vitamin complex every time? Because it is towards the upper limit. Uh, your B5, uh, it recommends 5 milligrams. Mine comes with 5.5. My multiple item comes with three. There is no upper limit. Your B6, uh, 1.3 to 1.7, depending on if you're young or older. The older you are, the more that you need. The more that you need. Mine comes with two. There is no upper limit. 
and my multivitamin comes with three milligrams. Uh, my actin is 30 micrograms. And my uh, B complex comes with 30 micrograms. My uh, multivitamin comes with 30 micrograms. Uh, there is no upper limit on that. <clears throat> with folate, your B9, it's 400 micrograms, which both my multivitamin and my B complex comes with. And you're not supposed to take any more than 1,000 micrograms a day. Hey, Connor, how you doing? I am feeling better. I'll be hitting it heavy next week. Today, I'm just going to be hitting some machines that support my jack back and push uh, light to medium weights. But I've been doing a ton of, ton, ton of reps. Um, and then B12, recommended amount is 2.4 micrograms. Um, my multivitamin actually has 25 gram, micrograms of it, and my B complex has 15 micrograms of it. So, generally, your multivitamin is probably going to cover most what you need, um, which is a good thing. Uh, I, I do notice when I am taking my B complex, and my wife knows when she takes B complex, we have more energy and definitely in a better mood. So um, those are the good things of it. So once again, for those just joined, your B vitamins are B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, and B12. Uh, your sources of those besides supplements are red meats, fish, poultry, uh, eggs, citrus fruits, so like lemons, oranges, grapefruits, uh, limes, whole grains, and leafy greens, spinach, and also peas and beans. All right, things that can affect you to uh, start taking these B vitamins away from you. So uh, processed foods can, can reduce the amount of B vitamins that they have in them. Um, so brown rice versus white rice. Now granted, you can store white rice a lot longer, but brown rice will have more B vitamins in them. Uh, what to avoid, white processed foods, such as white flour and white pasta, uh, they say to avoid. But if you're taking a supplement, then you don't really have to worry about that. Um, if you do if you do suffer from Wernicke Korsoff syndrome, then you want to up your amount of B1. <clears throat> uh, if you're drinking excess of alcohol, that will also... Uh, uh, drain you of your B vitamins. So if you are drinking a lot of, you know, when they say alcohol, they probably mean, you know, uh, your hard liquors. And then, oh, Connor, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. That's most generous. Uh, I, I definitely will kill it. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Uh, I appreciate that. And it'll be put good to, to good use. Uh, yeah, everything that, you know, gets donated to this channel or earned to this channel goes back into the channel. So whether it's, uh, you know, helping me sit there and uh, research more stuff, because I did research this and, and I felt like I was back in school again. And I actually enjoyed school. Uh, I was a, uh, I did go to school for biochemistry. It's probably why I like this stuff. Though if, you, if, you're, if you're a heavy drinker, then you're going to want to up your amount of B vitamins. As a matter of fact, if, you, if you've tied one on that night, Probably the best thing to do is to drink a B8 and a, and, and a B complex right after it. And uh, and then I usually have a couple of aspirins. Uh, the few times that I do it, and it is a few times, but we all have to have fun sometimes. Um, this is what I didn't know, and I may fall into it. People who eat an excessive amount of corn need to take more B vitamins. I'm going to have to dig into that more and find out why. But they're saying if you like your sweet corn, you need to kick in your B vitamins. So in come the summertime, I do like my sweet corn. Uh, when I grew it, I used to have it for breakfast. I mean, I just used to take it off the cob and eat it, wouldn't even cook it. So that one surprised me, and I'm going to dig into that a little bit more on that, see if I can get some more uh, information on that. Yeah, once again, Connor, I, I do appreciate it. Uh, I really do. 
uh, people who need to take more B vitamins also are going to be older adults. So I guess when I get older, I'll have to take more B vitamins. Uh, people who eat an ex excess of egg whites. So I don't know what excess of egg whites mean, but I know a lot of uh, bodybuilders will eat a lot of egg whites for protein. But most ones that I know also will take a lot of multivitamins because when you are exercising heavily, you are burning through those a lot faster. Here's another one I didn't know. People who need to take more B vitamins are vegetarians. Unless you're eating your lots of your spinach because you're strong to the spinach. But if you eat Popeye and you're a vegetarian, you need to take a, a B complex supplement. And then they did have some recommend of which brands to use in that. But basically, I think it's just brands that talk to them. <clears throat> but Nature Made was on there. But you understand, most of these, these brand vitamins are coming out of the same plant. You know, they're having the same plant, just relabeling it. Yes, dementia, uh, I don't know if I wrote it down, but dementia was also in there somewhere. Let me check my notes. I think that's the... Or nickel cross off disease. Our vitamin B. Uh, but I do remember seeing dementia in, in it. I mean, I wrote it down, but I do remember seeing it. So, those are the important to be vitamins. So, all vitamins are important. I mean, like vitamin C, you, you cannot go along without vitamin C. I mean, if you do, you'll get jaundice and your liver will shut down. Uh, you know, vitamin D3 is, is for skin health and also for immune health. Vitamin C is for immune health and also uh, muscle repair. Um, you know, and each vitamin has certain areas, and not all vitamins you can take in heavy doses. Pretty much on the B vitamins you can, except for your B3 and your B9. Those do have limits where they're saying they're not water soluble. So if you start packing in too much of it, it's going to sit in your system and do bad things. But uh, your B-complexes, make sure you're not overdosing on that. You know, so I got three people there, two thumbs up. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go knock out a really quick set. I'm going to come back and see if I have some new people in it. And I'll pretty much go through this again. Yep, scurvy. Yep. So, but if you do have any questions while I'm gone, I'm only going to be going for about a minute or two. Go ahead and post them in comments. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, the B vitamins are for a huge amount of things. Um, very important. So that's why I take a multivitamin, just to make sure that I'm I'm, I'm hitting the right stuff. And uh, the research is good. I mean, it, it can help prevent cancer. Doesn't say it prevents it. I'm just saying maybe it helps it. Uh, depression. So B9 is, is great for depression. Now there is an upper limit to B9, so it's not 
something that you can be taking just a huge amount of. Uh, when I was working in retail, we had people come in that were wanting to write bad checks to buy Xbox, 32-inch LCD, and a computer. And we'd watch them on the cameras. And what they'd do is, is just when they were coming to the store, they would they'd literally take a handful of antidepressants. And they'd walk around the store for about 20 minutes picking their stuff up until they kicked in. So they were always happy, just happy, happy, happy when they were talking to you. And I couldn't believe it that they're risking their kidney and liver health, you know, to try to steal some electronics that six months later were going to be worth half what they paid for. Mr. Warren, the vegetarian, has suffered from depression in the past. So, yeah, so that one there would be the B9. Uh, just not any more than a thousand micrograms, and usually your B complex, and a lot of your multi ones will have 400 micrograms. So if he's taking a multivitamin, I would add a B complex to it, and that gets him right up there at the high end of it, which he probably needs. So uh, that that would definitely help. Uh, and then the spinach, and then peas and beans also have have some B vitamins. But they don't tell you, you know, they don't have all eight of them. And I'll have to dig in to see which ones they actually have. So remember, your, your eight uh, B vitamins are uh, B, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, and B12. And almost all of your B complexes will have that in there. You can always check the back of it. And they usually have other things too. My B complex actually has some vitamin C in it also and some other things. But really, if you're looking at the B complex, those are the, those are the eight you're looking for. And what's the upper limit uh, on that is a thousand micrograms. So let me tell you that. You heading out? Yeah. Well, there you go. You're gonna say hi to my audience here. Sure, I'll say hi. Here's Larissa, one of the other trainers. Hi guys. All right, she she trains people here too. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hey. It's those little things that help. I, I've known Larissa since grade school. She went to school with my kids. I think she was two years older than my oldest, if I'm, if I'm right. They wave back at you. You're getting waves. So um, they remember what they're good for. I'm just, just for people of, of just coming in. It's always reputation is always a good thing too. Is uh, uh, red blood, red, healthy red blood cells, uh, energy production, brain development, immunity and functions, Healthy self, healthy cell functions, uh, helps against diabetes, heart failure, Alzheimer's, can prevent migraines, uh, helps against cancer, helps against cholesterol, cardiovascular disease. That's a mouthful. Uh, promotes fatty acid synthesis, which is something important for energy production. That's why you get more energy. Uh, boosts protein metabolism, so that's really good when you're working out. Uh, it improves your cognitive function, so you can think. I know, I know some, I know some people that need some B vitamins in government. <laughs> migraines at me, so the migraines, uh, that's the B two, and B two, which is riboflavin, doesn't have an upper limit. So uh, generally, your multivitamin only has like 1.7 milligrams, which is not a lot or your B complex will have 20 and there's no upper limit on it. So definitely a, a B complex would be worthwhile. Then sometimes you can buy these things separately. I mean, I do have a bottle of just B12 because there's no upper limit on B12 and B12 is, is you know helping with red blood cells and stuff like that. I don't take it often, but now that I know that I can, I can hit it heavier than what it's given me,
then they may do that. Uh, but, you know, you may want to miss one. You may want to think about uh, getting a bottle of B2, you know, along with the B complex. And if you feel a migraine coming on, you know, take one of those B2s with a full glass of water, and that may help you out. Right together. That's right. We got to bring our daughter food back. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm your daughter now. <laughs> I feel so. That Wait, how old are you? 21. 20, 20. How old are you? I don't know. What? What is this? I would say about 30. 30? 32. 35. 35, see? We're, we're about right. I know. I said no. You're mine. Well, actually, you could. Let's see. I'd be. Well, you'd be 15. Oh, you'd be yeah. 14. So oh, 14, yeah. they are active. Do you have a baby that 14? Well, I, he he wouldn't be having babies. He would be he would be promoting babies. I'm not, I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger. That Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. I can't have babies. I don't know. Sure. Oh yes, it is absolutely. Yes, isn't it? But it is physically possible. Twenty one's too young. They yeah, sure what foods have B2, so yes, I did. Uh, foods have B2 are fish, uh, chicken, beef, eggs, citrus fruits, so your, your oranges, grapefruits, lemons, and limes, uh, whole grains, so your oats, your wheat, they have B vitamins, so bread has B vitamins, uh, but white bread will have less of it, so that's where you want your wheat bread and your browner bread. Uh, leafy greens, so lettuce, spinach, kale. And peas and beans all have B vitamins. Good question. And I had researched that. So, um, I'll go through more of my notes here. <clears throat> so, if you are a vegetarian, you need to have a B complex. If you suffer from migraines, B complex and possibly a B2. If you're an older adult, a B complex would be worthwhile to have. If you eat excessive amount of corn, I take a B complex. If you drink excess alcohol, I don't tell you what excess alcohol is, but I imagine is my idea of excess alcohol is if you need to, to, to take a fistful of aspirin and a big glass of water to get up in the morning, you probably drink too much. Uh, and also, if you uh, eat a lot of white processed foods, so white pastas, white rice, things like that. And those are processed. If you go to the brown pastas and uh, the brown rices and that, then they keep their B vitamins up. So what? Everybody's thinking about that. I'm going to go knock out another set and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, JJB. Then you love back too. All the song played in the background. They play good music here. It's a little, uh, well, oh, how can I say? So, once again, body armor. And drinking this because of the potassium. 
which I can't read about my cheaters. I think it's 15%. There we go, much better. If you're new joining in, we were talking about the importance of B vitamins. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, please do. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining in. So we'll go over real quick. You got your eight B vitamins, your B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, B12, and always be nice. Uh, they are vitally important. Oh, I can't hear it at all. Hmm. Or she might be able to pick it up a little bit better. You never know what the mic's going to pick up. I know when I have a Bluetooth, it'll pick up things from a mile away. So B vitamins are important for. Class, what are, what is, what is B two good for? So the question to the class is, what is B two Bible flavin good for? Who was paying attention? Quizzes. That's right. I'm seeing if you're paying attention. So B2 is good for, correct, migraines. That's this worm. Was all over it. Very good. What is B3 good for? Two things that it was good for. I just want one of them. B3. Also known as niacin. Is good for what's it good for, class? You can write that one down. All right. B3 is good for cholesterol and cardiovascular disease, which is related to cholesterol. And this, I'm seeing if everybody's paying attention here. Oh, this is a hard one. E5 is good for, what was B5 good for? This is a hard one, and I probably misspelled the word. Wonderful, let me to spell check. No, well, kind of. It's good for fatty acid synthesis, which yes would would convert to energy. So. We'll give we'll give you that one. All right. Well, here's one. Somebody should know at least one of them because it's good for so many things. B6 is good for. What is B6 good for? There's like four items, four things that it's good for. So B6, which is pyridoxine, is good for. A, B, C, and D. And E, five things it's good for. So maybe besides Miss Worm. No. Okay. So it's good for.
Protein metabolism. Brain function. And also good for uh, prevents cardiovascular disease, could prevent cancer, and also uh, reduces nausea in pregnancy. So I will go over this again, and then we may have another quiz just to make sure everybody's paying attention. B6. Yep. Oh, the irony. Yes, yes. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So we have B1, which is good against the Wernicke Krushoff syndrome. I also think it's good for hangovers. Uh, diabetes, heart failure, and Alzheimer's. All right. We'll need to read. Need to try to not be working on watching lives. <laughs> I hear you. So B1, uh, diabetes, heart failure, Alzheimer's. Uh, B2, migraine, could prevent cancer. B3, cholesterol, cardiovascular disease. B5, fatty acid synthesis. B6, boosts protein metabolism, improves cognitive function. Ease of nausea and pregnancy prevents cardiovascular disease and cancer. B7, gene regulation, cell signaling, throat, hair, nail, and skin health. So B7 is for the skin. This one, that'd be B7. B9, depression, uh, cognitive decline, cancer, and congenital anomalies. I don't even want to know what those are. And B12, healthy red blood cells, uh, uh, central nervous system function, and DNA synthesis. So these are your B vitamins and what they do for you. <clears throat> what sort of things, what sort of habits or foods diminish or make, you know, why would you have to take more B vitamins? What are some reasons why you would have to take more B vitamins? Yes, B9 is folate acid. That's the one they want pregnant women to take. Yeah, helps, helps reduce... Uh, Depression. Too much corn eating. Yes. Never knew that one was out there, but that is one of them. If you eat too much corn, you need to take more B vitamins. Yep, corn and booze. You can make booze out of corn too, can't you? Hmm. Wonder if there's a re wonder if there's a relationship there. He hates corn. Oh man. I love sweet corn. Double whammy. So I don't think we have any new people ch bumping in chat. I did start chat a little bit earlier than they have on the, on the rest of them. Might be getting hard for people to try to time in that. Once I uh, get back to a regular schedule, he grew up in Iowa. Lots of corn in Iowa. I mean, only one state corn grows more corn. That's Illinois. Uh, too funny. <clears throat> so I want to try to have these. Uh, yeah, so if you're an old corn-eating boozer, stock up on your bees. One of the reasons I take bee vitamins. I wouldn't call myself a boozer, but I do like my corn. I ain't gonna lie. Ready to go. So, your sources are leafy greens, beans, and peas, uh, fish, chicken, beef, eggs, citrus fruits, whole grains, uh, and then also just going out and buying a multivitamin. Multi 
<coughs> multivitamin does hit most of them, but a B-complex is definitely going to help. I would say if you're over 50 or you're a corn-eating boozer or suffer from migraines, I would take a B-complex. Those definitely, or if you do, you know, depression, definitely a B-complex is something that is going to help you out. Well, if we don't have any further questions, I think I'm going to cut this off. Eight peas, the devil's vegetable. I don't mind peas. I don't eat them a lot, but I can eat them. I don't know how there's a devil's vegetable, but I like green beans. And I like chili beans. You need all of them. It's, it's, it's just going to make your day a little better. You're going to feel a little bit more energized, feel a little more happier, you know, uh, less headaches. You know, if I get off the habit of taking some of my vitamins, after a while I can tell. And then, then, I, then I get back on it again. I mean, it does, it, does, it does have an effect. It does make a difference. Hmm, let's we'll see some here. Um, uh, this was at uh, Foo Fighters. Uh, it was funny on the show because we only played like three songs by Foo Fighters. So we only played three Foo Fighters songs. Yep. Absolutely. So what? Uh, <coughs> next live stream probably won't be until Monday. Although I may, I may do. Uh, oh yeah, I can't wait for my garden too. I do love vegetables. I do love vegetables, but it's just not warm enough yet. Canned peas and fresh peas are better. Fresh from the garden are better. It's a lot of work. But a lot of times that's when I'll have peas is when I'm picking them right from my garden. I have luck growing peas. I don't have so much luck growing beans. I have, I have something that eats the leaves. And within a couple days, all I got is bean stalks. So I think this year I'll, I'll, I'll just grow more peas. Because they do add uh, nitrogen back into the soil, which is a good thing. All right, everyone. So if you're new in the chat, please say hi. Our, our conversation was on B vitamins. Uh, really quick, your B vitamins are B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, and B12. B1 is known as thiamine. B2 is known as riboflavin. B3 is niacin. B5 is pantothenic acid. B6 is pyridoxine. B7 is biloxin or biotin. Uh, B9 is folate. And B12 is just going to be 12. And they are good for uh, healthy red blood cells, healthy brain function, nervous cells function, immune function, brain development. Uh, <coughs> skin health can prevent cardiovascular diseases. We also prevent cancer. Just all, a lot of good things about them. So highly recommend it. There we go. Well, I'm going to go do one more set, see if anybody else needs to join in. If they do somebody new join in, just tell them, hang on, and I'll go over this briefly one more time. If not, and I'll be back.
Oh, All righty. It's going to be pepper cilantro onions for salsa to can. Yes, I did that one year. I had a little bit of pepper. I had 30 tomato plants. I had 50 pepper plants. Uh, I had probably about 300 onions and, uh, and cilantro. And I canned 60 pints of salsa that year. And we went through a lot of salsa and a lot of tequila. Boy, that was good. I also like to plant watermelon, cantaloupe, acorn squash, zucchini, cucumbers, lettuce, lots of lettuce, uh, usually a, a little bit of basil, and carrots and onions, usually what I have in the garden. Uh, I won't I won't be that big of a garden again, but that's one year boy I just went to town with it. Potatoes coming up, awesome. Cilantro is that it's for uh basically for salsa. It's it's got a nice sharp taste to it. I, I make uh out of the blue book, cooking blue book, I make the zesty salsa. And then I'll, I'll add, when I get about a third of the batch left, I'll add a bunch more jalapenos into it. And then I'll can those for the people who like hotter salsa. Hey, Nikos, thank you. Appreciate it. So, Nikos, make sure to hit the thumbs up. We were talking about the importance of B vitamins. So, if you're just joining in, I'll, I'll go through this. Yeah, I know. I was just, a little bit pepper, they just had to, the, the weather station on, you guys are going to be in the 80s. You know, I was like, 80s? I look up and goes, oh, it's Texas. Yeah, because I know you're talking about Illinois. So, Nagels, we were talking about the B vitamins. You got eight of them, which are B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, B9, and B12. Uh, we're talking about the benefits of them, which uh, basically can help prevent diabetes, heart failure, Alzheimer's, cancer, prevent migraine. Uh, B3s are good for like cholesterol and cardiovascular disease. Uh, B5 promotes fatty acid synthesis. B6 uh, boosts protein metabolism, um, brain function, ease of nausea and pregnancy, prevents cardiovascular disease and cancer. B7 is gene regulation, cell signaling, Before just didn't make it. Uh, B7 uh, cell signaling, uh, hair, nail, and skin health. B9 depression, uh, cancer, cognitive decline, and some congenital anomalies, which is not good. And then B12 is for health of your uh, blood cells, central nervous system, and DNA synthesis. Oh, yeah, they are very helpful. So uh, things if you suffer from, if you suffer from depression, a B-complex will be helpful towards you. Uh, that would be your B9. If you uh, suffer from migraines, B2 will help prevent migraines. Uh, if, if diabetes runs in your family or heart failure in that, you want to be taking a lot of B1. You want more energy, B5, B6. Uh will help you out. B9 for depression. B12 for healthy red blood cells. So all these have really good good things that you should be taking. Wow. So uh it must be it doesn't taste like soap to me. Of course I don't try to eat soap. You're welcome. Take those thank Miss Worm. No, I'm not sure of that. Because uh, 
Shields, the one that asked me to do this on the live, which I'm more than happy to do. So if anybody has any subjects they'd like me to cover that are health and nutritious, nutrition uh, and fitness related, I will do my research and definitely do that on the next live stream. So if anybody has any ideas for Monday's live stream, you can just shoot me an email. You want to get hold of me? Uh, it's at fitness at gmail.com. Uh, if you have any ideas you'd like me to do, between 4 and 14 is a soap team. According to the great guy at Google, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, if you are uh, if you like this, this station, I, you know, if you haven't subscribed, please do. <clears throat> if you have any ideas for uh, future live streams you'd like me to do, let me know. Or and or videos. Best way to support this channel is uh, let my playlist run in the background. You know, just let it run. Don't even have to pay attention to it. Steve, how you doing? So I won't be able to do my breakfast yet until probably the second week of April. Uh, my data gets refreshed on the 7th, but I'll be on days uh, for the first week training at my new job, and then I'll go to second shift. So, uh, so April 11th will probably be my first breakfast chat, which I'll probably start again at 9.15. So right now, because my uh, internet at home using the mobile is just dead slow and almost useless, I'm actually, I'm actually using Jim's Wi-Fi. That's why I run out and do a set, and I come back. So, Steve, if you're just coming in, we were talking about the importance of, B, of the B vitamins. <clears throat> uh, you got your, your eight B vitamins that are important to your health, B1, which helps against diabetics, uh, heart failure, and Alzheimer's. Uh, B2, which prevents can prevent migraines and cancer. B3 for your cholesterol and for your cardiovascular health, which the two kind of run together. B5 uh, promotes the fatty acid synthesis, which gives you energy. Oh, Jennifer, hello. How are you doing? Thanks for joining in. So we're just talking about the B vitamins here. So B6, which will boost your protein metabolism, uh, brain function, ease of nausea and pregnancy, and uh, help prevent cardiovascular disease and can help prevent cancer. Uh, B7 for uh, hair, nail, and skin health. B9 uh, helps you against uh, depression, uh, cancer, uh, cognitive decline, and congenital null anomalies. And then B12 is for healthy red blood cells, uh, central nervous system function, and DNA synthesis. Now, your sources of B vitamins are your fish, chicken, beef, eggs, citrus fruits, whole grains, and leafy greens, you know, lettuce, spinach, kale, and also peas and beans. Uh, people who might want to consider taking uh, extra B vitamins, even if they're taking a multivitamin, are going to be people that uh, heavy drinkers. Uh, eat excessive amounts of corn. I didn't know that one. This is a new one on us. But eat excessive amount of corn. Uh, older adults, uh, people eat excessive amount of egg whites. <coughs> Uh, people eat uh, lots of white processed foods uh, and vegetarians. Vegetarians, they're not getting enough B vitamins, uh, so you need to. You're not getting the full amount of B vitamins, so you need to take a B a B complex. And we went over what the B complexes usually have in the amounts. Uh, the only B vitamins that you have a maximum amount of being taken is your B3, which is also known as niacin. And your B9, also known as folate, uh, you have some upper limits. So you don't want to take too many of those. The other ones, there are no upper limits on them. Better take them individually. And I understand, so I take a multivitamin in the morning. 
then in the after during the afternoon and evening meals I take I take my feet well sometimes I take them right along with it too but then I also take a separate uh, vitamin C I take a, a supplement vitamin D3 I take a supplement separate zinc magnesium potassium and I take a B complex uh, the reason I do the multivitamins because there's going to be some s small trace minerals that your body needs that will be in that multivitamin, which you generally don't get if you're buying them separate. And to get all the things that you would need, you'd, you'd have just a zillion bottles. So some of these things you don't really need to have enough. So the multis never, they, they don't, they're not designed to, to have the full amount. Although they do in some ones, they're designed to be a supplement to your meal. I guess the whole idea of, of the multivitamin is they're assuming, and hopefully don't break down that word, but they're they're making a, a they're making a slight judgment that you are getting other vitamins and minerals through your diet. But because vitamin C is such a powerful immunity vitamin, and also for for muscle repair, I I take probably two two to three thousand units of that a day. Uh, vitamin D, if I'm not out in the sun, vitamin D is very important for skin health and very important for your immunity. But yeah, B complex. I would get the B complex. I can tell the difference when I'm doing. I mean, it helps. It helps uh, prevent diabetes, heart failure, Alzheimer's. It can prevent migraines, uh, can prevent cancer. Uh, it helps with your cholesterol, your cardio, cardiovascular uh, disease. Uh, promotes fatty acid synthesis, which allows you to break that down and get energy. Uh, boosts protein metabolism, improve brain function, ease of nausea, uh, cardiovascular disease, again, and cancer, healthy hair, nail, and skin. Can help with depression. <coughs> Can help your brain stay healthy, so it, it helps prevent cognitive decline. And promotes healthy red blood cells, uh, central nervous system functions, and DNA synthesis. Yeah, absolutely, you can thank Miss Worm for that. This is the this is the subject she, she wanted me to work on, so I did. Hey, if you're in, you haven't hit the thumbs up, please do. Old timers instead. Yes, I hear that. It, it, it's actually a very bad disease. My grandfather had that. Uh, his last five years. And it was kind of sad because the only time my kids got to see him, and really the the oldest was probably only one old enough to be able to remember it. Uh, even though we went up with her with my mom, his daughter, it took us like about 15 minutes for him to figure out who we were. And we had his attention for about maybe, maybe five minutes. And he looked away, and when he looked back, it was back to ground zero. I mean, you could just see it in his eyes. When he looked back, his eyes just hit, kind of grayed over, and he had no idea who we were again. But he was talking about things that when it happened in 1948, like it happened right then. He could remember that. So, yeah, it was a terrible disease, and, and I don't wish it on anybody. So uh, that's your B1, so that might be one that... That might be one you want to get. Get it? Ha <laughs> Be one to get. And, uh, and a healthy diet. So, yeah, your, your multivitamin, which I take in the morning, is just a supplement. And that's why I always tell these are to, supp to supplement your meals. They are not to replace anything. Uh, it's always better to try to get the, these vitamins through uh, natural foods. But it's very difficult to do that. And so this is what these are good for. So if you are older... Uh, it, it's recommended. And then Jennifer Cruz, we found a few that I didn't know about, but if, if you like to eat uh, excess amount of corn, uh, you need a, a multivitamin. Uh, or if you eat a lot of egg whites. Or if you're a vegetarian. So these are things I didn't know. So I, always, I do I get challenged and research this stuff from time to time. And uh, definitely... It's, it's worth it's worth information worth having. I always take these these vitamins. I always try to eat healthy most of the time. Can't do it 100 percent of the time, but most of the time I try to. 
Not any of those big heavy words. That's a good thing. So you don't you don't eat too much corn. I might be guilty of that one, especially during the summer when the sweet corn gets ripe. It's on a dinner table every day. Now I might have to cut back on that. It's never no. But uh, the B complex is one you take only once a day. But if, like I said, if you are suffering from like depression, you know, I, I you have to be careful that because that's one of those that you have a limit. Generally, your multivitamin is going to have 400 micrograms of it, and your B complex has 400 micrograms of it, so you can take both. But you are limited uh, at a thousand. Yeah, <clears throat> it is because it's it's a great source of protein in that. Uh, he, he just fifty two is not old. I all agree, fifty two is not old. You're just leveling up. But if he does that, then he, he he's probably doing it. Does you know Jennifer? Does he uh, work out a lot? You know, the, the, is he into fitness? Because that's usually what people are in fitness do. If he is, then he probably has already taken some multivitamins also. But he may want to take a B-complex along with that. Good, good. So they're probably taking multivitamins too. Because most of us in the fitness field uh, know that we burn through our vitamins faster. So we will sit there and take a lot of vitamins. Uh because we know we're burning through them. So I take a, a multivitamin. I take them uh, separately. I take C. I take D3. I take zinc, magnesium, potassium, and a B-complex. And that, that's, that's every day. Yeah. And this Thomas says it's, it's, it's going to help him with his workout. It's going to give him more energy for his workout. Uh, it's it's going to allow him to heal faster. You know, especially the C and D are huge for, or for healing and repairing uh, muscle tissue. Gotta get to A little bad healing going on. Check out a few things here. Deep sea cup. Push-ups too. Do you do to satisfy? Somebody just round up the clock. Just round up the clock. Hey, Bermuda's veterans, how you doing? Just in the middle of the workout myself. Very good. So, Bermuda's veterans, we're talking about the importance of B vitamins and how they are good for you. Uh, I'll go through all those here really quick. Your B vitamins, your multi B, B vitamins are your B1. Is it good to prevent diabetes, heart failure, and Alzheimer's? B2 can prevent migraines, help against cancer. B3, cholesterol and cardiovascular disease. Awesome. That's good exercise. Yep. B5 promotes fatty acid synthesis. B6 boosts protein metabolism, improve brain function, and also cardiovascular disease and cancer helps prevent. Uh, B7 for hair, nail, and, and skin health. B9 for uh, depression, uh, cognitive decline, and cancer. Well, you can get back to it, Jennifer. Muscle memory is a wonderful thing. You know, I've, I've been working out for 45 years, and, and when I do have those times, I take time off. When I get back to it, it, it only takes me a matter of about, you know, two, maybe three months to get back to 100%. Or just do something, anything is a good thing to do. You know, I'm, I'm going for, you know, hikes around the neighborhood, you know, three to four miles. And that's, that's helped me get dropped down to my 242 body weight, which I wanted to do. 
So, you know, when I say small, easy steps, uh, over time, yield big results. You can do it. <clears throat> Just get in the gym and lift or something around the house. You know, uh, I thought Randy might join in. I did shoot her a, a message on the uh, proper nation. So real quick, give me a time to shout out to the channels I like to watch. And I see most of you on those channels, so I'm sure you like to watch them too. But a shout out to John at Proper Nation. I really enjoy uh, his videos and, and really looking into it and having a pretty good outlook on it. Uh, Rudy at uh, Alaskan Proper. Uh, gray Man Prepping, Cuba. Uh, are probably the three main ones I'm looking at. And then, of course, uh, Jennifer Cruz, who's on there. Uh, with her Bible study and that. I like to sit there and relax uh, in the afternoons when she has that going. Those are the ones I actually, you know, appreciate too. Uh, usually we have uh, the body beat down on here, but he's probably either out on a hike. Well, he took his walk early this morning, so he, he might just be taking a rest. Uh Yeah, I've been walking is great exercise, actually. It's great for the heart. Uh, it's good cardio, uh, and it'll burn calories. I mean, when people want to lose weight, the first thing I tell them is, you know, go for a walk. You know, cut some calories and go for a walk. Best way to do it. So I dropped from 262 to 242, <clears throat> besides a nasty cold and flu I had for a month, <clears throat> as I started going for long hikes. So anytime the weather's good, I go for a three- or four-mile hike. I'll be doing that after the gym here. You know, it's funny, I did buy a nice big uh, NordaTrack uh, treadmill for the missus. It's been used about five times. Still sitting in the living room, gathering dust, as I knew it would. Uh, but, well, you know, some of those things that cross you have to bear, no pun intended. I hate lady. So I did some legs today, Steve, but it was anything that was my had my back supported. But, you know, my back's still, you know, a little little tingy there. So as long as my back was supported, I, I was hitting that machine. But I didn't want to overdo it because I overdid arms and shoulders the last three days. And uh, I was really feeling the cramps, even though I was drinking a lot of V8. And that's why I switched over to the body armor for another source of uh, electrolytes. Uh, keep myself from cramping up. i be honest with you, if it wasn't for Miss Worm want me to do that live on uh, B Vitamins, I would have took a day off today. But I'm glad I'm here. Once I get her, I'm always happy. How long do you get doms for? I don't understand what DOMS is. During this veteran, explain what DOMS Anchorman is for. I'm not, it's not clicking in my brain. Crikey, pile on that. Crikey, crikey. Oh, delayed offset muscle soreness. I usually get them for about a day to two days, depending on how hard I hit it. So, uh, example, Tuesday, I, I hit triceps ridiculously hard for hours. And that night, even though I had drank in a V8 and, and you know, really hydrated well, uh, when I went to put a shirt on, my, my left arm cramped up from the shoulder down to the tricep where I couldn't even move that arm. I mean, it was rock hard. You could have bounced bullets off it. And that lasted for about five minutes. I got home, I drank another V8. Uh, I took an aspirin with some water and it took care of it. Uh, then yesterday I did uh, biceps for about an hour and a half. So 
and then I drank a lot of V8. And I drank a lot of electrolytes when I got home, but I was still getting some cramps right up in here. I, I had to be uh, careful on it. But usually the next day, those cramps are gone. If I do a huge bench day, I may be sore for two days. You know, generally by the third day, the soreness is gone. Uh, rule of thumb is, is if you're going through routines and, that, and you go back to your chest day, if you're still sore, move it over a day. Yep, I remember pickle juice. Uh, but it's got to be stuff I'm going to drink. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll eat the pickle. I'm not much on the pickle juice. Uh, but generally, for my soreness to start, it usually takes about a day before I'm sore. Howdy. Howdy. Bingo wings. I'm going to say no. I don't know what bingo wings mean. Yeah, it lasts about three days after a heavy session. So that's usually that's why my when I when I do two workouts, I'm bench. It's usually Monday and Thursday. Then I'm getting three days. You know, I got Monday, then I got Tuesday, Wednesday off, Thursday, then I got Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, and Monday. So I'm getting like a two day break and a three day break. Oh, uh, you know, I usually do that about uh, six weeks before uh, my competition. Before bed, like those barbecue wings. Are those like barbecue wings? So I think we've uh, covered it pretty well, the importance of having the uh, B vitamins and how they, how they help and where they help. <laughs> oh, great. So first of all, you, you, you're messing my dreams up with Boris Johnson over there. And now I got to have the wobbly old triceps. So push you, how do I warm up for that? So good question. So I start with the bar. I literally start with the bar, and I do like, you know, I rep it out about 25 times, and then I throw uh, 25s on it, and I'll do two sets of that, probably about 15 reps each, and then I'll go to 135, I'll do two sets at 135, and then I'll do a set at 185, a set at 225, 275s, 315 is where I consider that my workout starting. If I'm going to go really heavy, I'll do 315 twice. And then I'll jump to 365. Uh, then from 365, when I'm in top form, I go to 405. And then from 405, it's usually four and a quarter to 